got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, look, if they're not a huge budget team and yeah. we know they're not, oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got to use what he's got. And I, I, I give him a lot of credit for that. The, the heck with it. Get out there and do the thing. He can race his bike good, and he's going to use that team to launch himself to the next thing. And he's, man, he's made the, a, a heck of a lot from the opportunity that he's got with that program this year, hasn't he? Absolutely. What a rider. Really, really exciting. And going places, battling, and showing, as you say, that with limited resources. There we see that moment from Elizabeth where it, you could have early on thought, nah, it's not his day. You'd be wrong though. Yeah, well, we'll see, well, we'll see. This was the beginning of the race and it was good. It was uh, it was a really, the three of these guys, you know, but it, it was interesting because during the middle while it looked like it was gonna be a two person race at one point between Laudan Sweck and, and uh, Lars van der Haar, then Easterbit found his legs, which is exactly what he said. He, he, you know, he, he was the, I think that Easterbit was the strongest rider in the race, but he wasn't the technically the best. And it just came down to the last lap where van der Haar visibly was really frustrated with how he rode it. But gosh, he was best, the best technically all day, but not maybe the strongest. Was um, was Lars van der Haar, try I mean, he, he must have known he's only got to finish in the top three or four and he's almost guaranteed to win the series overall anyway. Is he maybe trying to hold things? I'm just wondering why he keep, kept looking back throughout the whole race while he was in the lead. Is he trying to do, is he trying to win today using as little effort as possible? That sounds ridiculous, but, but thinking about tomorrow maybe as well. He's 30, he's 31 racing age. You know, this was the, this was the mistake that he's going to just kick himself for. He's just, I mean, this doesn't make or break Van der Haar's career, but he would have liked this. And I think that that's, you know, that's it. He just had an opportunity and he, and he, and he unfortunately missed it because of a stupid crash on a section that he had aced nine out of the 10 times that he did it. But unfortunately, it just comes back to that an Easter bit, you know, was able to just keep the momentum and the mental strength. He comes into the sand. He rode the sand just fine enough. Van der Haar didn't do anything special. And well, this was the outcome. You have to admit, of course, that although these fans love all their cyclocross stars, Elisabeth, of course, is a Belgian rider and this race is in Belgium.